welcome to Rise Above at Tammy Lynn. I'm Tammy Lynn and I'm honored to have this opportunity to speak into your life to empower and encourage you to continue running your race, fighting that good fight of faith and finishing strong in Jesus name. Family, I am here to tell you to finish strong. The Lord has been showing me that the warfare on individuals, marriages, and families has intensified. He has been speaking this to me since New Year's Eve and all the way up till today, January the 6th. He has spoke to me every day. He has been showing me in countless ways the intensity on the warfare on homes, on marriages, families, and individuals. And I'm here to tell you to stay in the fight, to keep fighting fighting keep going towards your victory prize because you are going to get the prize i'm here to tell you that the enemy believes what the lord says about you the enemy believes the promises of god for you the enemy knows he cannot stop god so he is trying to stop you he is spiritually emotionally and unfortunately for some of you physically trying to stop you we're going to go take a look at daniel 7 25 through 27 the lord has been speaking this um, for months i mean since last year in this roar of restore that he has uh, given me and originally it was daniel 7 25 through 26 and then he began to speak 27 and yesterday as i was uh, driving um, my uh, eight-year-old um, and the back seat she goes 727 and she just she said it loud and she said it with excitement and my six-year-old was like well why do you say that she's like because whenever we see or hear 727 then we know mama is here from God I mean my littles know because God has been speaking specifically 727 to me because he is showing me about the end the end of the battle he is showing me the victory. So let's go take a look at this. Daniel 7, 25 through 27. He will speak out against the Most High and wear down the saints of the highest one and will intend to make alterations in times and in law. And they will be given into his hand for a time, times and a half. But the court will sit for judgment and his dominion will be taken away um, and destroyed. Um, the dominion and the greatness of all the kingdoms under the whole heaven will be given to the people of the saints of the highest one. His kingdom will be an everlasting kingdom and all the dominions will serve and obey him. So we see in verse 25 how the enemy, like the Lord is uh, speaking to you all about the strategy of the enemy. That he wants to wear you out because he's wanting to alter the time. Because see, the enemy believes in what the Lord says about you. He believes in the promise of God for you. He knows that God is a promise maker and he is a promise keeper. He knows he cannot stop God. But if he can stop you, then he knows that you won't be testifying. So he is trying to stop you. He is trying to wear you out. He is trying to spiritually... Um, emotionally and physically wear out the people of God. And so I want to talk about the ways that he's trying to wear uh, some of you out. He is trying to wear you out to where you will just give up on God. You will stop standing for your marriage. You will stop standing for your family. You will stop standing for your loved one. He wants you to give up and just walk away from God and call it quits. He's trying to convince you that serving God is, is it's difficult. That all of this is happening and it wouldn't be happening if you weren't serving God. I'm here to tell you now. I remember uh, years ago standing at um, my, my coffee pot making my coffee in the morning. And I heard, if you will just give up on it all and walk away from it, I will leave you alone. Well, at that time, major warfare was going on in my life. My oldest daughter, my only daughter at that time. We found out she had a stalker. We had a situation in, regarding that stalker. I had just other things just in just different relationships that I had going on. It was just like, and I can't remember every tack, but I just remember it was a time that it was like one tack upon another tack upon another tack. And whenever you touch mine, see, this is how God feels. He says, touch not my anointed. Touch not the ones that I joined together. Okay? So it was just a time that the enemy was trying to touch my daughter. Okay? And I knew what the enemy was talking about. He wanted me to walk away from the ministry. He wanted me to stop writing the book. He wanted me to shut my mouth. He did not want me to testify. 
he wanted me to walk away from it all. And his offer was he would leave me alone, that all that warfare would stop. So the enemy is trying to convince some of you that if you'll just walk away from the stand, if you'll walk away from this promise of God, I'll leave you alone. Because spiritually and emotionally, it has been very difficult for some of you. Some of you spiritually, I mean, you're good there, <laughs> but you're, you're having to battle some emotions, okay? The enemy tries to send one thing and then another thing. I mean, he's just sending these like wave after wave after wave. He's like sending them because he is trying to take you down and take you under. Because if he can overtake you in your emotions, because his hopes is to overtake you in your emotions and overtake you spiritually. Because if he can emotionally deplete you, emotionally get you feeling absolutely uh, defeated, hopeless and hopeless, then chances are you may just walk away from the Lord. You'll give up on praying. You'll give up on standing. Okay? So he's been strat strategizing to wear you out. It doesn't talk about wear God out because he can't wear God out. It says, and wear down the saints of the highest one. You, the saint. So he's, he's strategizing. He's trying to wear you out. He's trying to uh, get your emotions. Okay? So you're just feeling the pain. You're feeling the sting about what happened, about what they said, about what they did, about them not coming back. All this stuff. Okay? He's trying to uh, emotionally and spiritually sabotage you. So you will start picking up... Start picking up that pill, popping that pill to numb the pain. Start drinking so you can numb the pain. Go get in the bed with somebody else that is not your spouse so you can numb the pain of the spouse that walked out on you. Physically harming yourself, there may be cutting because that's painful. But that pain sounds a lot better than the pain of that, that trauma that happened. Them walking away from you. Them abandoning you. Them cheating on you. Or suicide. He's trying to take you there. And some of you, you're there. That's why I'm here talking to you. Some of you, you've already gone there. And some of you, you're, 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 you're struggling not to go there. So I'm here to tell you. You stop taking the pills. I'm here to tell you, don't you dare pick up that pill. I'm here to tell you to stop drinking. And I'm here to tell you, don't you dare pick up that drink. I'm here to tell you, get out of that bed. And I'm here to tell you, don't you go get in that bed. I'm here to tell you, don't you touch yourself. I'm here to tell you, you stop touching yourself. You stop harming yourself. And I'm here to tell you, don't you do it. Don't you take yourself out. Don't you dare do it. Don't you give up on God. And don't you give up on you. And don't you give up on those that you love. You're standing for someone. You're standing for a marriage. You're standing for a spouse. Well, if you give up and you take yourself out, you'll certainly never see it happen. How's that going to solve anything? How's that going to make anything better? You think it's going to numb you? Oh, trust me, you won't be numb. You won't be numb. And everybody has their, their biblical opinions on on suicide um I, I don't feel like um, i'm to get too much into that but i'm just telling you even if you think you physically end it here it's not going to end okay for eternity it's not going to end and i'm going to leave it at that so i'm here to try to prevent and i'm here to intervene because the lord is sitting me here to tell you that yes the warfare has intensified. But just because it has intensified doesn't mean it's not going to get any better. It is going to get better. He's trying to wear you out. He's trying to alter the time. Only way he can alter the time at this point is by taking you out. Spiritually, emotionally, physically. That's the only way. But the Lord is talking about, but the court will sit for judgment. Well, the court has sat for judgment. This is the year of Gamal. This is the time of judgment. This is time of repayment on the enemy. The enemy doesn't want to be repaid. 
He doesn't want to have to give you back your spouse. He doesn't want to have to give you back your child. Okay? You, you are a threat. That's why he's trying to wear you out. That's why he's lying to you. Using other voices around you. Trying to convince you to stop praying, stop believing, stop standing. Move on. You deserve better. All this other stuff. Strategy. It's a strategy. Right now, whoever I'm talking to, the Lord says, be still and know that he is God. That you need to fixate your eyes on him. You need to lean your ear right here. This is where you need to be leaning your ear to. Stop leaning it on the phone. Stop leaning it to someone else, okay, to have a conversation with because you need to talk about it. I mean, I get it. Spiritually, emotionally, you're, you're, you're struggling. I get it. Stop. If they are not speaking the word of God to you and about your situation, you don't need to be talking to them about your situation. Do you understand me? It is a warfare. You are not battling with flesh and blood. You are battling with principalities. And sadly, principalities can and will operate through others. Even others who love you. Do you understand? Right now, many of you, like you're standing for the restoration of your family, of your marriage. And then it just seems like all hell is breaking loose. Within your family. Within your marriage. It seems like it's getting worse. Why? Because you're a standard. Because you're an intercessor. Because you're a watchman. Because you're a warrior. Because you're in obedience to God. And the enemy knows that your obedience brings the release. And he knows that God is going to honor you. So he's sending other people to you right now to dishonor you. To disrespect you. To discourage you. That's what he's doing. So family, rise. This is not the time to give up. The Lord has had me release um, several prophetic words. But one of them for 2023 that he highlighted, a scripture that he highlighted, was Ezekiel 37. And for those of you who you're standing for the restoration of your marriage and your family, this is the year for you to see the resurrection power of God. I know that it's been a wait. I know it didn't start in 2022 for all of you. It started in 2012. It started in 2002. So it's been a wait. It's been a fight. You've been fighting it. I get it. I get it. I get it. I get it. God is not judging you that you are tired. He's not. He's just trying to let you know that now, now that you're having those talks of, I just can't do this anymore. I'm tired of doing this. I'm tired of waiting. If you are saying those words, I'm going to tell you now, there's somebody else in that conversation. And it's not the Holy Spirit. I've learned that I'm the second voice in the conversation and that the Lord is the first. He'll begin a conversation and then I'll come in on the conversation. The enemy works the same way. He begins the conversation. He began the conversation with Eve in the garden. Eve started entertaining that conversation. And the topic of that conversation became her reality because she pondered it one too many times. And she got into disobedience. That is what the enemy is doing with you. Do not entertain the lies of the devil. You heard God correctly and you've been standing on that scripture. Stop speaking words that contradict that scripture. That scripture of restoration, that scripture of reconciliation, that scripture of healing, that scripture of deliverance. Do you hear me? If you are speaking anything that contradicts what God is saying, stop. The enemy is the one that brought that to you. Because he wants to get you speaking it 
because he knows when you begin to speak it and he knows when you begin to ponder it, it becomes your reality. And when it becomes your reality, then you're wore out and then you're done standing and then you give up. Then you're out the race. You don't care about the marriage anymore. You give up on the child. You walk away from God. You stop praying. Do you feel me? So I know. I know through many different ways that the warfare has intensified. The Lord has made it very, very, very clear to me. And yes, the warfare has intensified because the enemy knows what time it is. And this is his final attempt to alter the season. What season? The fulfillment of the promise. What season? The restoration of the marriage. What season? The prodigal returning. Returning to the Father and then returning to you. What season? The healing of that cancer. Of the autoimmune deficiency disease. What season? Your deliverance from those drugs, the alcohol. He's trying to alter it. And the only way he can alter it at this point is if you give up. So don't you give up. You stand firm on the word of God. You rest in the Lord. You lean into him. And you listen to what he has to say about that situation. And I'm going to tell you now, he is a God of peace. And when he talks to you about this, that situation, it brings you peace. You could be walking through hell, but he is calming that raging sea. One wave can hit you, but he calms that wave. He calms you in the wave. Okay, It brings you peace. It brings you peace in the midnight hour. It brings you peace in the storm. It brings you peace in the lion's den. It brings you peace in the fire. The word of God brings you peace. So whatever your situation is, I'm just telling you now, when God speaks, it brings you peace. So if you don't have peace, and I'm going to tell you now, you don't have peace when you're popping pills or you're thinking about giving up and picking up the pills. You don't have peace when you're drinking. When you're thinking about giving up and start drinking. You don't have peace when you're thinking about going and getting in the bed with someone else who's not your spouse. And giving up on your spouse. Giving up on the weight of God. You don't have peace in that. And you can do it if you want, but if you do it, it is your flesh. And I'm going to tell you now. You think you're having a hard time now? Go get in the flesh and see what happens. Because you are going to be a lot farther from peace. So you're needing help today? He's sending me to give you a dose of encouragement. To awaken your hope and to strengthen your faith and to tell you it is your due season. It's the enemy messing with you. He is messing with you. 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 You the one that holds the key. He says he's given you the key. You hold the key. If you throw it all away, if you just lay down, you've just tossed away the key. He has given you the key. You hold the key because your breakthrough is coming. Your miracle is coming. The restoration of your marriage is coming. The restoration of your family is coming. Your healing is coming. Your deliverance is coming. Now is not the time to be weary and waver. It is not people of God. I know you ended 2022 with it hadn't happened. Okay. It hadn't happened yet. The enemy wants you to be stuck on it hadn't happened. And then he likes to intensify the story. And it's never going to happen. Bull. That is not what God has said. It hadn't happened yet. Yet. But just like that, it will happen. And the enemy does not want you to have your just like that. Because when you get your just like that, then just like that, you go forth and you testify. Just like that, God gets glorified. So you're the one he's after. That's why your mind is under attack. That's why your heart is feeling that, that pain that you've been feeling. Because you've been like... I've made it all this time. Like, it didn't feel good and I hurt. But I used to cry back then. But why? I can't even stop crying now. I mean, I can't even eat. I'm just, all, all this stuff. Because the warfare has intensified. And it's intensified 
because the season is here. And the Lord has made it very, very clear. 2023 is the year of the hammer. So you need to get that hammer. You need to pick up the hammer, which is the word of God. And you need to tell the enemy, not my marriage, not my family, not my mind, not my emotions, not my health, not my finances. You need to fight back, people of God. He's fighting you. Stop laying there and doing nothing. I understand emotions. I validate them. I'm sorry you're having them. But you are a king. You are a queen. You are a child of the most high God. You pick up the hammer. You pick up the word of God and you fight back. If you got to do it with tears in your eyes, then do it. But do it. Let the tears come. But use the hammer. Use the word of God and push back the powers of darkness that are pushing you right now. Pushing you out of your position. Pushing you out of your stand. Pushing you out from the fulfillment of the promise. The powers of darkness are pushing you because you're the threat. Because again, hell knows, can't stop God. But again, if it can stop you, my brother in Christ, my sister in Christ, the Lord says you're going to get the last life and you better get your last life. The enemy made you cry like he had and like he has been. You need to fight for your laughter. God's going to give it to you. But he needs you to stay off and stay away from the pills. Stay off and stay away from the alcohol. Stay away, stay out of that bed, okay? He needs you to stop or don't start the self-harm. And he needs you to keep breathing. Because he's going to show you his faithfulness. And the enemy knows this. And he's trying to stop that. Family, continue to stand firm on the word of God. Stay strong in your faith. I will talk to you all soon. Shalom.